the best products to be introduced to the Climax product line over the recent years is the LM5200 and 6200 uh, configurable milling machines. Uh, for the most part, most machines on the market are conventional mills, which means you've got a bed section here, here, basically there's one bed section right in the middle. The LM52 and 6200 now have the ability to separate the, the bed plates and you can work right over top of the uh, workpiece. Along with that ability to do the, the gantry configuration, we have the ability to grow in length and reduce in length the overall bed section. So if a customer has a, a work piece or a job that uh, is now shorter than what their machine was configured as, all they have to do is just take out a bed section. Or if they need more length, they can buy and add in more bed sections accordingly. Just buy a lead screw, extra bed sections, and off they go. What we've discovered on the rental machines, however, is a lot of users are so new to this idea of configurable bed sections that they're not paying close enough attention to these joints, uh, these seams where the beds and the rails come together. It's critical that when we are refurbishing a machine, when a customer sends a machine back from gantry configuration, we want to change it back to conventional. So we need to move the bed sections back in, join them in the middle, and, and make a, a standard conventional mill again. When doing that, it's critical also to check the, the joints. It is imperative that you don't test the joints under full power of the electric feed motors uh, through the ball screw. The ball screw is so efficient and the uh, feed motors have so much power that these skates under power will ride right over the top of one of these joints even if it's un un uh, not aligned properly and you'll destroy the block. The easiest way to check it is when you have the ram removed there's a set of uh, shoulder bolts that hold the ball screw nut, the ball nut assembly to the bottom of the saddle. Take those screws out so that the saddle is now free to glide by hand up and down the rail. Same thing on this side. Just undo the, uh, the ram and this skate, because it doesn't have a ball screw on it, it'll glide freely down this rail. Do a hand check over each seam before you reconnect the, high, the electric motors to the machine.